Hey everybody, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Jacob with Last Stop Waterfowl Outdoors coming to you from right here on the water this morning. Guys, and we have a good video for y'all today. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much as always for tuning into the channel right here and showing us love and support. We appreciate it as always. But to get into it, guys, we're not going to waste a whole lot of time today. Jackson and I are headed over to do a little bit of fishing in the Chafalaya Basin. We're going over to the Bayou Pigeon area where we did some scouting last week. Kind of checked the water levels and see what was going on down there. See if it was getting ready to do some fishing and it was you know getting to that point where it's just prime time fishing guys usually in the summer around this time we get that slow fall which is what the water looked like it was doing last week so we're going to get out there in this new video we're going to do some fishing for you guys and take you along with us so we hope you enjoy this episode of last stop waterfowl outdoors y'all stay tuned You missed them, huh? Like. Oh, he's nibbling. Come on. Oh, you got him. I thought you had one. All right, so we turn on the camera now. We're a little late on getting some footage for y'all. And now since I turn on the camera, watch our luck, we won't get a bite. But I feel pretty confident right here. We'll be able to catch them. We got some good current pulling through here. There he is. Oh, missed him. I had him. Yeah, or we'll get a bite and just miss it straight up. So let's see here. Oh, I had some. Must have some little stobs in the water right here. Oh, there he goes. Y'all saw him knock it, guys. There we go, there's one. There's one. There we go. There we go. They knocked the stopper and we got them. So there we go, guys. That's what we've been catching right before we turn on the camera. We were trying to scout it out for y'all before we started filming a little bit. And we ended up catching a couple. Whoop. So there we go. Nice little Chaffalot Basin Sackle. There you go, Jack. All right. Go ahead. There you go. Nice one. Good job. Go get you another one. Big old sun perch. There you go. Got some pretty orange colors on them. Huh? Let's see. Yeah, pretty color. We could, but that's a palm. Bring that one. We'll put it back in the pond. The other one. How about the other one? We'll put them in the pond at home. Good job, Jack. All right, let's get another cycle of here. And guys, it is hot this morning. 82 degrees here when we launched the boat this morning. That's warm for early on. Let's see if we can get another one hit 
this tube jig we're using and i'll show you guys what we use in here on a tube jig just so y'all don't think we're lying to you we'll tell you straight up what we're catching these on because there ain't nothing i hate more than somebody lying about what they're catching them on but um if you guys could see this, this is just a little straight tail grub. It's a white body, short tooth tail, and I got a niblet on there that I'm throwing. And that seems to be so far for us what they uh what they hidden on. And we fishing it about three foot under a cork. So seem to be kind of spread out along this uh this little bank line here that we own. Which is cool. We could move around on this bank and kind of pick them off as we go. They're not real concentrated, it don't seem like. And you can see they got some boat traffic this morning. They were out there trying to get in on everybody. Everybody's right around each other. So what amazes me is that these people aren't real afraid to cash right up on you. They had a guy cash right behind you on Jackson a second ago. This guy right here in this boat about to get in front of us. And they will cut you off. And they will cast all around your boat. <laughs> they have no morals whatsoever, it doesn't seem like. But it's public water. That's how it goes. brim yep that's exactly what it is big bull brim or big sun perch and jackson wants to keep these for the pond at home so nothing wrong with that we'll keep that some good healthy size ones put that one in the pond box well, we got about three or four brim in there, Jackson. Uh, yeah, three. Right around three. All right, guys. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to say a brim, the way it's fighting. Yep, sun perch. Two sun perch back to back. Mm, this one got that one got attacked by something? Oh, yeah, he got attacked by something. Probably a gar or... No telling. Now I like this little wind picking up, little rip on the water. Oh hell, I think I had a bite there. Couldn't tell, my cork wasn't really bouncing. Yep, just kind of sat there. But I like this little bit of ripple. I find when you get this little bit of breeze blowing, it kind of turns them on a little bit, it seems like the bite gets picks up. And a lot of these guys, they're getting right up on the banks this morning. We just kind of hanging off now. These people up here are catching in this little pocket, which is where we were trying to go this morning. Because we had had some luck there, but um, but they beat us to the spot. So all fair and square as far as that goes, and it's paying off for them. They have three people in this little boat, and uh, they're whacking them pretty good this morning. So it's good to see. At least we know we're in the right area. So we just kind of hanging back doing our own thing right here. We're getting off the bank some and we find that some of these bites are coming further out. So we're gonna stick to that pattern for a little while and see if that keeps paying off or maybe even turns on a little bit more. So let's see. You can see when I'm casting, if you guys can see that on camera, I'm not even casting to the bank. It's not like it's during the spawn. So we catching them a little bit further out, the ones we're getting bites on. Even the brim, a little bit further out. And as I tell y'all that, I'm not going to get a bite that cast, but that seems to be working for us the mo for the most part. Oh, ho, ho, talking trash, and that's what happened. You missed them. <laughs> yeah you were checking on some all right jack was talking trash on that one and that's what he gets 
You said in the hook, it must, must be all that weightlifting you're doing for baseball right now. He said in the, hawk, the hook like a beast. <laughs> you probably pulled it through his mouth just now. <laughs> oh, saw the stop a jump. They'll kind of pop it. And you got to give it a second and then they come back and it seems like they take it at that point. Yeah, he did. That was a good bite. All right. So we're going to back off a little bit more. And it looks like it's a gogola. He ain't even fighting. Good good little gogola. Boy, he must have got tired early on. He just quit fighting. He just come right on in. A little fat gogola, guys. Let y'all can see. Beautiful colors on him. Look at the back on him. Fat little thing. Oh. Get him, Jack. Get him. There you go. Boy, he was waiting on you. Oh. <laughs> I think he was, he had choked that thing so bad, he had your cork in his mouth. Oh, man. All right, open up the brim box. That's the pond box, guys. So we're going to put this little fella in the pond box with the rest of the brim. Bring him back for the pond. Jack missed two in a row, guys, right there. He's setting the hook a little too hard, probably. He had one, that bite, he bit it and sat under the water with the cork. I think he damn near swallowed the cork. He was so Never deep on it. <laughs> but this water has definitely dropped since last week. We were in the same area last week and we could see it on the bank. It's dropped, which last week when we were in here, I told, I told you Jackson, I said, it, it's a couple of days away from turning on and being on and uh and it looks like that was the case so it's been on a steady fall oh get him jack he got it he got it sack a lay sack a lay all right got a little one but that'll work you can pan fry him barely hooked huh right there yeah pretty pretty colors Let's see if Dad could get one right behind you. Oh, okay. I'll put him on the sack of this side. It'll be all right. all right. We'll put him on the sack of this side. Yeah. Keep him alive. If we get to where we got to count them, we'll go ahead and cull a few out if we need to. Good job, bud. That I couldn't follow you up. I couldn't do my part, apparently. Couldn't do my part. Well, I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> Easy now. Oh, Lord, I think I might have just pulled it out of one's mouth. I was trying to maneuver the trolling motor. Boy, you hear that big old bullfrog. They got some hammer frogs in here. Hammer frogs. Come on, man. That's won a couple of casts. I didn't get one. Oh, 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 oh. That's a catfish. Oh, catfish. I was going to pull my dang bait up. Look at the slime. You nasty old thing. Damn old catfish. Look at that damn thing. That's the second catfish we catch this morning. Get this slime off. That's a big sack of lay. There we go. Ow. Look at him. <clears throat> Boy, you ain't happy. I don't blame you. I get it. All right, guys, so we're back, back with another one here. Let's see if we can get this little hook out of its mouth. Look at this one. Got some red bloody fins on top. Some maybe got into a little altercation with it, it looks like. But, boy, beautiful, healthy sacale, like we like to call them down here in south Louisiana, sacale or crappie, white perch, where I grew up at. 
we called them white perch and we called them sockle where i was from so put them in the live oil well. yeah he slammed that one jack he uh he just kind of took it underneath and uh slowly sunk it that's when you know it's them good ones <laughs> yep that wind's pushing us the opposite way to the current now got a good little breeze blowing feels good now because man that humidity was some a second ago before that breeze started blowing it has been a hot summer so far all across the u.s too it's been hot well guys today oh so i'm trying to hit your stop it look like guys so just so y'all know we are in the chaffalaya basin back at it this weekend me and jack Emma on the back deck and uh we are in bayou pigeon which we had came last week you guys um we had posted a little video up on our uh, youtube channel right here um last week just come and scout and check out the water what it looked like and it wasn't quite ready last week it and what i mean by that is the water levels wasn't quite right um the you know just the this kind of green color that you see here is what you're looking for when we're getting a spillway with these uh sakala. and uh last week we had a bunch of that black jet black swamp water pulling out the swamp and um uh, it just wasn't right you could see about five to six foot down with your bait in the water and um uh, you know fast forward now we're a week later and the waters fell some more over throughout the week and it's turned these fish on it seems like now is when it just gets starts getting right so i think this is the beginning stages of it getting getting right so we're fishing a chartreuse and white tube jig this after or this morning and uh, about three foot on the court that's what we're doing and we're kind of fishing out off the bank trying to catch some of these fish suspended out in this grass and off these little ledges where it drops off Gagala. Big fat gagala. Boy, when you put that finger in their mouth, they don't like it. I guess I wouldn't like nobody having a finger in my mouth either, though, huh? That's why I hate going to the dentist. There's another little pond. Pond brim. Going in the pond box. Oh, used every bit of the rim on that one. you side hook something <laughs> look at that thing you got them upside down coming in snagged he snagged them that's funny up again guys bring this one in slowly sack of lay there we go There we go, guys. Got us. A... Let it go. Let it go. There we go. All right. Got us another cycle, guys. Another. Another one in the fry box. Gonna make a little mess. Fried fish tonight. So as y'all can see, the wind's picked up a little bit. You can see the ripple in the water now. And, uh... Hell, it's actually, I was saying earlier, I thought it would help us that little bit of wind, but it's actually slowed it down just a little bit. So that was my first bite in a little while that I've had. Probably about 10 minutes since my previous bite to that one. So, but we're going to see. Um, usually when it, that wind picks up, it kind of helps us. But uh, that was a good, healthy little sack of lace. So we'll see if we can get another bite right here. <laughs> 